Hey YouTubers, how you doing today? This is Raven back at it again with another video. Today we are covering key loggers. Now, what is a key logger? A key logger is simply a malicious program sent by a hacker in order to record the keystrokes, whatever you type in on your computer, and send them back to an FTP server or an email. Today we're gonna to be doing an email representation because I do not have my FTP server up anymore. It got taken down. I do apologize. It would have been a cool video. Maybe next time. Anyhow. Why does one deploy a keylogger? Well, sometimes a hacker, instead of being a man in the middle, we'll talk about it in later videos, they'll send their target victim a program. Now this program will look normal. It'll look like any other program you can think of, like, um, I don't know, a MySpace photo uploader, or an Instagram filter creator, or something along those lines. Now, they'll attach the file to it, the keylogger, and as soon as you open up and run the Instagram filter maker, it'll automatically install the keylogger in the background and start recording your keystrokes. So if you log into Facebook, you log into Twitter, you log into MySpace, is MySpace even around? I don't think so. Log into anything and that hacker automatically has it. Boom. Now, for the sake of this video, we're going to be using Dracula Logger. Dracula Logger, you can see right here, really cool stuff. Super cool little, oh, let's see, what is it called, GUI, yeah. Really cool, really cool, really cool. Now, this is a really basic key logger, okay? We have our email function, password, SMTP server, encryption, stuff like that. And I'm going to be going over all of the functions that we have in this key logger today. So, without further ado, let's start off with the email part. Now, email, this is going to be your sending and receiving email. So... When the keylogger is installed, it needs a way out of the network. So it's going to send out the email with these credentials, and then the same email is going to receive the sent email. So it's like you sending a letter to yourself, only a lot quicker. So for this email test, I'm going to be using one of my spam accounts. Now we need our password. Don't don't get all cocky and like, oh wow, he had his password on the screen. Like, dude, I'm gonna change it before I upload the video. I mean, seriously. Yeah, Heil Hipster, Pokemon Go hashtag. Yeah, it's actually my name on Pokemon Go. It's pretty cool. Now um, for Yahoo here, SMTP servers be SMTP dot mail dot Yahoo dot com. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure that our Wi-Fi is on. Magikarp Wi-Fi is mine. Here, wonderful. Now we're going to test the email. It's not going to work because I just found my spelling error right here. Yahoo. Got to wait for it to finish. Waiting. Come on. You can do it. Sorry about those guys. It's late. Let's fix that. Test email. Should succeed this time. Server must be out. Hmm. Let's just check all our information here. There it is. There we go. Success. Wonderful. Sorry about that. Like I said, it's late. I haven't been feeling good lately. That's the lack of videos uploaded so far. So now that our test email is good to go and it's a success, we're gonna go ahead and set our encryption type. I like to use AES. Look up the different ones. I don't really have time in this video to explain them, but um, you'll see the differences. I always use AES. Now, we're gonna go ahead and go to recovery options. Recovery options is a funny way of saying password stealer. So for this example, we're gonna select everything. It's going to steal Firefox passwords, Chrome, Opera, Windows Live, no IP, really useful for, uh, for hackers, Minecraft, Dyn DNS, you should watch my video on Dyn DNS, FileZilla, Pigeon, IMBU, CD keys, serials like Microsoft uh, product keys, and Bitcoin, super, super good. Having Bitcoin, I think one Bitcoin exchange ratio is like $500 right now. Start mining, it's, it's the currency of the future. 
A couple of options over here, disable task manager, disable the registry editor, disable the command prompt. I am not going to do this. Disable folder options where you can just open the folder, right click, delete it, stuff like that. Extra options. Add to startup because whenever the computer restarts, you want your virus keylogger to start up with it. Persistence. You want it to keep rolling no matter what happens. And we can also delay the execution. So we're going to delay it by, I'd say, 15 seconds. And it is in seconds. Now, let me actually go back and have extra options. This right here is an option for FTP. So if you had an FTP site or like a Dropbox, you can actually map out the path of the Dropbox file and then instead of setting up the keylogger and everything, you can just map it out to something you have pre-built. So as soon as they click on it, it'll download the file, run it, go all the way through it, and you could have even something more malicious on there like a... Um, Make them part of a botnet. Make them your slave. It's, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. We're going to go on to fake error messenger. This is how we know that it's working. So we have a couple of different icons you can choose from. I like the standard X. And here's what it's actually going to say. We're going to change it. So here's going to be the title. Um, we're going to call it Java Runtime Error. Okay, Java update failed. File add. Ugh. Failed. And then you can give a few options here. Okay, cancel, retry, cancel. I like to retry so they can, you know, get that extra that extra sense of okay, well, maybe it was just a fluke in the operating system. Let me just hit retry. So we're gonna test it. And this is how it'll show up. Java runtime error, Java update failed. Retry. Done. Now, let's go to our build options. Mutex. Generate your mutex. That helps with crypting. I never use it, though. File name. We're going to name it Super Cool Hack Tool Remover. Something weird. And then icon, we can change the icon so it doesn't look like this little uh, Dracula guy we have over here. Go on my desktop. Let's find a cool little icon here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let me see. Aha, Soviet Russia. In Soviet Russia, keylogger log you. Open. File to bind it to. I'm gonna bind it to. Let's take a look. What's in my desktop shortcuts? Um, like network miner. So I'm gonna open this up. Make sure we go to desktop. We're gonna go to desktop shortcuts. We're gonna go to network miner. And then, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make a copy. Not necessary, just ease of use, and plus I use Network Miner, I don't want it to be corrupted. So we're going to open up the program we're going to bind it to. Call it Network Miner. And then we're going to have it as, a B, as an EXE file, so let's double click and open. So, let's build it. Successfully generated. Now, there it is. Network Miner now. If we were to open this tool right now, I'm not going to infect myself, guys, because this is a pain in the rear to get rid of. Holy crud. And I don't really want to cuss in this video, so I want you guys to take me seriously. But uh, yeah. I'm not going to infect myself. I know I say I install it on my own computer to watch what other people do on my computer. I already have something like that running. But uh, it's for another video, too. Something you could readily download online. Nothing you have to go to the dark web to get. But anyhow... Once you open this up, it'll actually run Network Miner. Now, if you look at Network Miner here, 251 kilobytes. That is the size of Network Miner. And then our modified file, 548 kilobytes. File version 0000, file description, company, NetSec. Now, some updated keyloggers, you can change all of that information there. So you can highlight it and make this look, make this actually look just like this. 
really cool stuff out, out there, guys. Like I said, this is just a basic key logger. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, again, let me do a legal briefing. Do not, I repeat, do not think you can hold me accountable for anything that you do with what I provided here. I have not provided you any download links. I've simply gave you the name of the tool. I've showed you how to use it, and now it is up to you to do right. Do the right thing. Don't go install it on your girlfriend's computer. Don't go installing it on your boyfriend's computer. Don't go try to install it on your parents' computer to get their passwords and upload weird pictures of them on the internet. Nobody wants to see that stuff. It's gross, guys. Anyhow, this is Raven signing off for the Dracula Keylogger video. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.